B2B decision makers are anonymous and autonomous. B2B decision makers have different preferences than they did just a few years ago. Find out how uncertain times in the World Wide Web have made purchasing processes both anonymous and autonomous. Over the past few weeks, several of my clients have spoken to me about decision makers changing preferences around B2B marketing content. They've noticed some shifts in buying behavior and the research literature seems to back up their impressions. There have always been fundamental differences between the way businesses and households make buying decisions. B2B buying decisions are more convoluted because they involve multiple decision makers with varying priorities. These considerations are still true. In fact, if anything, purchasing panels are getting bigger. In a trust radius study, 27% of B2B purchasers said their buying committees had more members than in the past. Not only are the panels growing, many of them are becoming more senior. In 14% of cases, respondents said there were now more executives on the committee than in previous years. This seems to be a sign of the times. The economy is still growing modestly, but inflation, pandemic aftershocks, and global conflicts seem to have B2B decision makers rattled. Managers tend to believe there's safety in them. If nothing else, middle managers are less likely to be scapegoated for choices that go sour if they can show it was a team decision with executive buy-in. For similar reasons, B2B purchasing panels are also more price conscious in recent years. In Forrester's The State of Business Buying 2023 report, price was the most important decision driving the B2B buying journey. B2B decision makers in the Forrester survey also reported that their purchasing processes were more likely to stall than in the past. In fact, 89% of respondents reported one or more reasons for stalled buying decisions. The generation gap also seems to be a factor in today's more complex buying journeys. While baby boomers and Generation X members continued to rely on past experience with vendors, Millennials and Generation Z managers reported that buying journeys often stalled due to lack of purchasing panel consensus. In Demand Gen's 2022 B2B Buyer Behavior Survey, 55% of those surveyed said the length of B2B purchasing timelines had increased either somewhat or significantly. Buyers reported several reasons for this trend. Purchasing panels are relying on more information sources and spending more time on social media research. They're also spending more time reading reviews and recommendations from industry colleagues and putting more thought into their business cases. One of the major concerns my clients have been mentioning is information overload. Many potential clients feel inundated with marketing content and much of it is of poor quality. Too much B2B marketing content is irrelevant, poorly targeted, and just plain tacky. A lot of this shoddy content results from violating marketing's golden rule, know your customer. B2B marketing content that isn't targeted to potential clients' business goals, needs, or pain points isn't going to expedite buying journeys. Trying to overcome irrelevance by making up for it in sheer volume never works. The main things buyers in the demand gen study asked for to improve the quality of B2B marketing content were curb the sales pitch, create shorter content, don't overload content with copy, use more data and research to support content, and focus less on product specifics and more on value. Another complication for today's B2B buying journeys is that B2B decision makers are now largely anonymous. Their primary information sources are online and they include web searches, vendor websites, and product review sites. So at least during the interest and desire phases of the buying journey, potential clients have absolutely no need to talk to anybody who works at your company. Salesforce outreach is becoming a thing of the past, as clients now define when and how they'll reach out to your brand. 
I'm hearing a growing number of B2B marketers referring to this trend as self-service marketing. Respondents to the demand gen report identified their first five buying process steps as anonymous research, informal vendor lists, preliminary pricing collection, team research, and existing vendor fit evaluation. These are all steps that purchasing panels can conduct without your team's knowledge. There are also activities that potential clients can engage in without any outside support. Even when B2B decision makers target your brand, their first stop will be its website. They also have very clear expectations of what they want to see there. They're primarily interested in gaining easy access to relevant content that speaks directly to their company's needs, 63%. Close behind that requirement are easy access to pricing and competitive information and content that demonstrates industry expertise. When B2B buyers are ready to make a purchasing decision, by far the most vital information they're looking for is pricing, 82%. To justify your brand's pricing, buyers look for reviews, features and functionality, industry expertise, and deployment time or ease of use. All of this unseen self-service buying behavior poses much greater challenges for your content marketing team. The content that potential clients unearth inconspicuously and independently plays a crucial role in moving them through the early phases of their buyer's journey. Marketing to today's anonymous and autonomous B2B decision makers requires content that's both relevant and targeted. It needs to be concise, well-researched and value-based while avoiding the hard sell of traditional advertising. Knowing your customer and responding to their needs with agility has never been more important for B2B content marketers.